inspired by the pace of corn planting, 2013 U.S. soybean planting is the slowest since 1996. Fifty-seven percent of the bean crop is now in the ground across the country, but Nebraska is well ahead of the national average, with 81 percent of its soybeans planted. Because the state's farmers had a third of their seed in the ground two weeks ago, emergences varied by a matter of weeks. We talked with Bob Wright Wednesday about how those first soybeans up may be more susceptible to bean leaf beetle. As far as corn pests, Bob says common stock borers should now be on the grower's radar as the insect moves from the field's edges into the crop. Well, it has sort of an unusual life cycle. The moths lay their eggs in the fall, and uh, they're particularly if you have brome grass uh, waterways or weedy areas on the edges of the fields, like uh, ragweed or other broadleaf weeds, they're attracted to that type of vegetation to lay eggs in the fall. So the, the insect overwinters in the egg stage and then hatches out in the spring, and typically it starts out feeding on, on small stem grasses like brome grass. And then as the caterpillar gets too big, it can't fit in the broom grass anymore and it starts migrating looking for other plants and that's when it migrates into corn. And we're getting about the time now where the, the caterpillars are getting large enough so that they will start migrating out of broom into, into corn. And so we're coming up to the time where people need to start, start scouting their corn, especially if you've had problems with stock borers before to see if you might have a treatable problem right now. What are you looking for and what areas of the, look, of the field are you looking at? Well, typically, again, if you have a brome grass borders, uh, typically they're on the field edges most commonly and migrate into the field. Uh, there can be some leaf feeding on world stage corn or if they enter the plant at the growing point, they can kill a plant and kill the growing point so you have dead leaves in the world. That would be a sign that stock borers are maybe there and uh, you need to pull up the plant and dissect it and see what's inside. But uh, now would be the time to start checking for that. And if there's enough injury on the border, you may want to treat. What's the treatment recommendation? Well, it's, uh, well there are various insecticides, pyrethroid insecticides, pyreth uh, insecticides containing uh, chlorpyrifos would be good products. Uh, the actual level varies a lot with the plant growth stage as well as the, the amount of injured plants and the value of the crop and the treatment cost. And we have that information on the CropWatch website. We have a wide year. variation of soybeans. My guess is across the state that are maybe some not even planted and the others that are probably emerged already. Uh, problems with bean leaf beetles, do you expect? Well, we've generally had lower populations of bean leaf beetles since we've been using the neonicotinoid seed treatments on soybeans, which are systemic and help reduce early season populations, but there's always a chance that individual fields would be damaged. And the bean leaf beetles emerge way before soybeans are, and they feed in alfalfa and other legumes, but they're looking for soybeans. So the first emerging fields typically get a concentration of beetles from the area. So certainly you should check your first emerging fields, uh, see if there are bean leaf beetle problems and treat if needed. What's the damage that you're looking for? Basically, we're looking, they feed on the cotyledon leaf and the, the early emerging leaves. And if you have one to two beetles per plant on an average for the cotyledon stage and two to three beetles per plant on average with one leaf stage, that's a treatable level. But this is a field average of one to two per plant or two to three. It's not just an individual plant that has two beetles. This is an insect that may come a few times during the season. It's, uh, I believe, more detrimental, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, when the pot is actually on the plant itself. So yeah. do early indications of uh, insect populations now indicate anything towards the future? No, not really. Uh, a lot depends on the environmental conditions this summer, how, how much the populations will build up, and also the beetles can move around from field to field. But definitely the late season populations are the ones that cause the most economic damage because they can feed on the pods directly and damaging developing seed in the pods. So that's something to watch for later in the season.